Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we're going to be getting episode one of turbocharging the half scale NASCAR. So in last video, that was just a planning out video of what I want to do for this project. And I also showed you guys the parts. These are not all of them. I'm still waiting on the oil cooler and I still need to get the oil restrictor for the turbo. So, so there's not too much oil being pumped into the turbo and I, we don't blow out my bearings. But in the meantime, I could still get everything ready to go. And then once those parts get here, I can just put them right in and we want to do everything all at once. So work with what I got so far. Today, I want to try and accomplish uh, putting on the oil pump, the oil reservoir, uh, get all the routing and electrical set up for that. And then maybe later on mount up the turbo, um, get the fittings for the oil and get everything ready for the piping for the hot and cold side. But before I do that, I need to pull off the body. So everything is way more accessible. Let's pull it off real quick. All right, so now that the body is off, I can reach everything inside. But what I wanna go ahead and do first is mess around with the oil pump. So it came with fittings and everything, and I definitely wanna try and mount it somewhere against this back wall. Um, so if the turbo's gonna be there, then the oil lines just really need to flow around the back. Uh, as long as they're away from the engine and everything, then shouldn't have to worry about melting. But if it just can go hug the back and straight to the turbo, that should be easy. And plus, that back wall is pretty much the only place where it can firmly mount. And then when I first got the uh, oil pump, I was I was thinking about doing a completely different switch um, to turn it on. And I wasn't exactly sure how I'm gonna wire that in, but then I was just, why don't I just wire it straight to the ignition box? Because every time I'd start this while it's turboed, the oil pump's gonna have to turn on. So what I'm gonna do is use this wire right here. This wire goes to the tachometer, but the tachometer doesn't work. So it's basically just doing nothing. But I'm gonna wire the oil pump to this wire and then just run it back to the oil pump. And then when we turn that key, it should just turn on the pump and then I should just be able to ground it to any bolt near it. So should be pretty simple. It only came with these two really short wires. So luckily I have some other wires sitting around the black, obviously the ground and any other color besides black, the red, white, and blue is for the positive. So let's go ahead, find our mounting place, uh, drill holes into there, find bolts, bolt it up, run our wiring, and hopefully it works. So the holes for the mounts are all drilled. Came out pretty straight. I mean, <laughs> this one I messed up pretty bad, but it's fine. And I just drilled them that way because I couldn't really fit the drill between here, but either way, it's all good. It is beginning to drizzle out of nowhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead, mount the pump up and run the wires. And if it doesn't get any worse, then we can still continue. But if it does, then I'm gonna have to pack everything up and cover everything up. The rain got worse, so it's the next day, but we're just gonna continue on of what I was doing yesterday. So let's get started. Right now, I only have two bolts holding on the oil pump. I need uh, two longer ones just for these sides, but as it is, it's pretty solid, so I can still work with it just having two bolts. But what I wanna do now is drill a hole right in the side so I can run the wires through, and then I'll connect it to the ignition, and then I'll find a ground for the ground. All right, so I just finished the wiring for the oil pump and it came out pretty good. I didn't test it yet, but I just grounded it right here to this little Zeus fastener. Uh, it's re really tightly on there and everything's all tight here. Then I could probably just run these wires just like against the frame over here so they're not like flying around. But I wanna go ahead, turn the key and see if it turns on. Okay, nothing. We have no power. <laughs> All right, so I just went ahead and messed around with the wiring a little bit. I switched out the ground for a flatter piece and now it's much tightly on there. So now when I turn the key, the pump is running. So that is awesome. So now that the pump is working, I can start placing the hoses and everything and begin mounting up the oil reservoir and also the oil cooler came in. This thing's the tiniest oil cooler ever. Came with the hoses and everything, so pretty neat. But let's go ahead and start mounting these up. The oil 
reservoir and the first hose going to the oil pump is all good to go. I was going to do it, the oil reservoir, like somewhere in the back over here, but I don't want to take the chance of running the hose, you know, all the way to the oil pump and it getting caught in the chain or anything like that, or the even the tire, because this is just a lot of moving parts over here. So over here is a pretty good spot. It's nice how they're all together. The sun is beginning to set, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today, and I'll catch you guys back again tomorrow, and we'll get some more stuff done on this. So guys, we are back here yet another day working on the NASCAR and my turbo restrictor just came in. It came with a really nice oil line as well. So that is awesome. So what I wanna go ahead and do today is run the hose from the out of the pump, run it across to the other side, um, put it through the oil cooler and then mount it to where it would be going into the turbo. So I was hoping that one of these inline restrictors would be able to thread into my oil hole on the turbo, but it is just too small in here. So I'm probably gonna have to go to the hardware store and get something that can thread into there and then figure out a way to get the restrictor to work. So I'm gonna have to do that. But in the meantime, let's just finish up with the plumbing of the hoses and everything. Then we can worry about that later. So I just finished mounting up the intercooler and I was kind of stumped on where, it was, where I was going to put it because in my mind, it, right in the beginning, I figured I was going to put it somewhere in the middle. But the engine heat is going to be totally making this oil cooler like useless and it might even make it hotter. So I wanted to try and find find the place that would get enough airflow for it and anything anywhere back here really isn't much. So. I went ahead and mounted it up here in the front. So the line goes directly across there. I'm gonna snug it up against the frame, you know, once I finalize everything. But for now, that looks pretty dang good. And then this line will go up to the turbo once I get the fittings and everything. And I, I need some more hose clamps and everything. But once that's all good to go, then I'll have the oil return. Just go straight down and then to the other side of the oil reservoir. So everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna have to bring this on to once again another day because the sun is already setting and I gotta clean up my mess. But I'll catch you guys again tomorrow and I'm probably gonna make a run to the hardware store once again, uh, get some fittings, finalize everything up, and then I probably won't be able to get the piping done and everything just because that takes quite a bit of time and I gotta get this video up for you guys. So that'll probably be an episode two of uh, turboing this thing and probably the final episode because it should only take this one and the next one but we can get everything ready for that tomorrow uh, and finish up all the hose plumbing so catch you guys then we were back here a couple days later it ended up raining all day yesterday so we're back today but when i went to the hardware store to try and find a fitting for this there was nothing like big enough so i'm getting a custom uh, fitting made for this so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to really mount up all the hoses today but Next video, we should be able to. And then I also got some bolts that thread into the turbo where I wanna put uh, the carburetor. So I wanna test fit to see if the carburetor that I have on it right now will even work. And yes, I know that I'm probably gonna have to end up getting a higher performance and quality carburetor, but I wanna try and test this one and see if it could even handle this. And then also I'm getting uh, custom flanges welded for the exhaust and the intake. So we have a nice tight seal for the exhaust and intake. And then along with all that, I also got uh, some return hose uh, to go from the turbo back to the reservoir. So for the rest of the video, I wanna go ahead and put the return hose onto the reservoir, uh, take off the carburetor, test fit it onto the turbo, uh, see how that fits. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the rest of the video. So let's get started. Yeah, so now that I took off this part, um, I don't want to go ahead and just pull off the carburetor just yet because I don't want to break the seal back here yet because I'm not completely sure if it'll fit, but I just want to line up the turbo with the two studs and it is so close. It is so close. It'll definitely work though. Here's a closer look for you guys. That stud is in and this stud over here is right on the edge of the hole. So I could definitely make this carburetor work. I'm pretty happy about that. But like I said earlier, I mean, this is just like, I th I'm pretty sure the stock Honda GX 390 carb, so it probably won't be able to handle too much of this. But it is worth a shot because I do want to push the limits of this thing. And then lastly, I also went ahead and found uh, two longer bolts so I could finish uh, mounting up this oil pump. So let's go ahead and throw those on quick and then we should be done for the day. 
So the oil pump is fully mounted up and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all I can do for today just cause you know, I gotta get that custom fitting uh, made and the flanges and everything. So the next episode is more of the bigger parts like the turbo and the piping and just, you know, the whole oil routing and actually putting oil in it and testing it. So next episode should be hopefully putting in the turbo. So next episode should be all of that stuff, hopefully. Uh, if everything could get made in time, but I'm pretty happy how we got everything ready for the turbo in today's video. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be ending the video here. Stay tuned for uh, more episodes on turbocharging the half scale NASCAR. I am so excited for this thing to get done, and I'm honestly just curious to see if it's even going to work because I know single cylinder turboing usually doesn't work, so it, I'm destined to try and make it work. But this is my first video of 2019, so I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, 2018 and your New Year's. 2018 was awesome for me. As some of you may know, my first goal for the end of 2018 was 20,000 subscribers. And then once I surpassed that, like instantly, I moved it up to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2018, and we still completed that goal. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And 2019, I think, is gonna be the best videos Ever. There's going to be in more content than ever that I ever had. 2019 is definitely looking bright. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, friends with the channel.